In present-day Benin, the remnants of the Dahomey Kingdom spread over 48 hectares. It was once one of the most powerful kingdoms in West Africa. Their warriors, the Amazons, were ultimately defeated by French colonial troops, but the dances and war songs lived on for four centuries. They wrapped themselves in courage as they performed these loud songs and choreographies. They were a pack of hyenas, thirsty for blood. Quintasi Hangbe was at the origin of the all-female army called Aguji, in the local language. After the sudden death of her twin brother, Kinakab, she dressed herself as a man and became monarch, becoming the first and only queen regent. Her reign was met with criticism from men refusing a female ascension to power. As her distrust in others grew, she surrounded herself with female-only bodyguards. Despite her prowess, her reign only lasted three years. Her younger brother killed her son, forcing her to abdicate power. The current representative inherited this club, a symbol of power from the first Amazon. There are few artifacts left by the Amazons of the Homi. The majority were stolen by French colonial troops. They all had a dagger like this, attached to their belt. They also had a knife called the tooth. It was made of metal, and it was used to slaughter enemy soldiers. Gabin Jimassi is excited to meet one of the descendants to share the news of a Hollywood film depicting his ancestor's story. I'm happy there is a film because it promotes my culture. Women sacrifice themselves to defend this country, but no one talks about it anymore. If we remember her today, justice is being done. Whatever the content of the film, the main thing is that we talk about them. For many years, the life of the only regent queen in Benin was left out of the school curriculum. Today, the Beninese are proud that the history of the Amazons has been shown to the world.